Okay, welcome guys to another video. And in this one, we want to look at. Uh, so the other video I dropped was <coughs> going off grid with my uh, with my solar installation, with my small solar installation. Uh, today I want to show you, you know, what the difference is when you're using a, a non-inverter AC and an inverter AC. So um, right now, uh, this is base load. I uh, have my fridge and the inverter is also charging. <coughs> Most of the power is the inverter charging. Uh, so now let's, um, so now let's, uh, I'll turn on the non-inverter AC. We'll see what the load is. Then we'll try the, no, the inverter AC and see what the load is. By the way, the non-inverter AC is 1.5 horsepower, which is roughly 1,300 or 400 watts. Uh, the inverter AC is about, eight, about 800 watts rated but that that's one horsepower so let's let's turn on the invert the non-inverter AC and see let's see how much amp, how many amps it's going to add remember we have 2.6 amps on the base load so let's turn on the invert the non-inverter AC okay so this is the non-inverter AC 1.5 horsepower so I'm going to put it on right now So it's on now <clears throat> and the compressor has picked up so right now it's running yeah so let's see how many amps this is pulling from the wall right now so we can see now we are pushing about 6.8 close to 7 about 6.8 amps um, it's what we're pulling so minus two amps um, minus two amps that will bring us to uh, minus 2.5 amps <coughs> that will bring us to about four amps uh, 4.2 amps that the in, that the non inverter is, is pulling at uh, 27 degrees um, so now <coughs> let's also see what the in what the inverter AC would consume right now so i'll turn off the non the non-inverter and then we'll turn on the inverter AC so let's see what that is so we're turning the the non-inverter off okay okay so so i'm turning on the inverter AC right now uh, so this is at 28 degrees <coughs> and this is currently on 20 degrees okay the compressor has also picked up so let's see what it's pulling right now okay so now this one is running at the same you know the same capacity as the other one was running but you can see we are pulling just 4.8 as compared to 6.7 that we were doing on the non-inverter AC. So that's a very big difference. Um, so we'll also do a calculation to see what this would pull in one hour if it continues to run. So actually, if you remove this 4.7 from, you remove 2.7 from 4.7, apparently the, the, the non-inverter AC is only pulling about um, 1.3 amps thereabout. Uh, or two amps, two amps actually, actually. So two amps compared to four amps that the non-inverter is pulling. So it's about half the capacity that this one is running at. So let's do some a little calculation and see the difference. Okay. So I've taken some time to do some calculations here. So you know, after we did it, our base load was uh, 2.5 amps, and we had 213 volts right uh yeah so 2.5 amps 213 volts after after we turned on the <coughs> non-inverter ac as you can see we had 6.7 amps you know so the actual consumption there is 4.2 amps when we turned on the inverter ac we had 4.7 amps and uh, which big brought us to an actual consumption of 2.2 amps, right? Now, in terms of power draw, 
right? That means that the non inverter was pulling <coughs> 894 watts, while the inverter is, was only pulling 468 watts. This one is practically pulling 900 watts, right? And this is you also have to add the fact that when this is actually starting, it would have drawn times three, so it would have drawn about 2400 watts of power, right? When it was starting. Well, this one pulls just this one just pulls 400. It practically has like a standard running starting watts, right? It doesn't it doesn't peak or like it doesn't overly peak, right? Now, based on this, right, you can see it's practically double of you know this, right? Now, on the on the time uh, though in the time domain, <coughs> if we were to run this non-inverter ac for 10 hours right running for 10 hours it will consume 8946 watts which is um uh what's it called now the 8946 watts <coughs> which is um watt hours rather 8946 watt hours right there so this is watt hours okay and it's practically nine, so just in nine units because a unit in electricity is actually one kilowatt hour, right? So now, <clears throat> uh, here in Nigeria, we are charged 223 naira for one unit. That's roughly, that's roughly, uh, that's roughly 20, 10 cents, roughly 10 cents or so per unit, right? And that will cost you. 2007 2007 there if you run it for 10 hours now for the inverter AC it would have cost us it would have consumed 400 and 4686 watts hours and which is 4.6 units practically half and that would have brought us to 10 1000 uh, 1225 naira. would have consumed 2007 naira and 1025 naira with the inverter AC now if we were to run this for one week right this is where it gets interesting the non-inverter would have gotten us 14,000 naira in one week, while the inverter AC would have gotten us 7,000 in one week. Now, in one month, we would have spent 56,000 naira, while we would have spent only 28,000 naira with the inverter AC. So, this 56,000 naira is roughly, this is roughly about $25, $30 there about, and then this is about... This is about fifteen dollars or twelve dollars, so it's practically half of it, right? So, if you're asking yourself the question, should I get an inverter AC or should I not get? Should I not get? Uh, should I get a normal AC? I think it's a no-brainer, except you live in a place where it, you you are not really metered, right? You don't really care about the units, but if you care about how much it costs, right? Yeah, it's a no-brainer getting a, in an inverter AC. So because also because of this starting because of the power this one consumes, I can actually run this on my on my solar installation, right? Um, I can practically run this all day, even with about two um, two hundred and forty ampere hour batteries. I can run my inverter ACs at twenty seven degrees for from night till morning, and in the morning my four thousand watts panel I, I enough to charge the battery to full in the morning. So, yeah, I hope this has been insightful to someone. Uh, you can leave any questions in the comments and I uh, will try as much as possible to answer. Thank you for your time.